Hi guys, today I'm just going to be doing a quick video on how to connect your laptop there to your TV. It's fairly simple, all you've got to do is get a HD video converter box and that will transfer your stuff from your PC onto your TV. Now what you need for this box here, the one that I've got here has got all the ports here. So you've got one VGA port Hang on a minute. One VGA port here, one audio in here, one HDMI here, and one power and one power plug here. Now I'll just um, go through all the cables quickly just to show you what you need. This cable here is the power cable, and that comes with a HDMI. No, not HDMI, sorry, H uh, USB at the end of it. All you do is put that into the end of here. Du -du -du -du, it's there. Uh, if I can just press that in. Hold on for a second. If I just plug that there. All you do is plug that in there. So it's like that. Bollocks. And then the other cables, so you've got your HDMI here, your audio to audio cable here, which you'll need to plug into your um, computer. The HDMI here will go from your box to your TV, and the VGA cable here that you've got will come from your computer into the box there. So I'll just quickly just put this on a stand and I'll just um, put all the cables into the box real quickly. So here you are, all the cables are in the box here. So there's your audio to the right. Yeah, your VGA there, your HDMI, and your power cable. Now what we're going to do is we're going to plug all this into my computer and into my TV. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to get the HDMI cable here. And I'm going to plug this into the back of my TV. Normally, most TVs you, that you buy normally come with a another with a HDMI port. Oh, so I'm going to have to have two hands for this. Yeah, that's in. There you are. So that's into there. Then what we're going to do is we're going to get the USB coming from the box into, and we're going to plug that into the USB port of my laptop. Just like that. Now once that's done, we're then going to get the VGA cable. Right. Just close that off my computer and then grab the VGA. I'm going to plug this into the size of my computer here. So I have to keep it up to a power right up will bugger up and because my computer's got a shit battery. So we're just gonna plug this in. Doesn't matter if the um, cable won't screw in or the, if there aren't any screw bolts into there. See now you've got the blue light here on the um, converter box. That means that the converter box that the converter box is now on. All we from now, if I need to do now is get the audio cable and plug this into my laptop. So then plug it into the audio here. My laptop just flashed and it is now come up with this notification here saying optimal re resolution has been notified. Um, you may have to fiddle around uh, on the settings with your computer and the top two things which I'd recommend that you go on to, to make sure that everything is okay on your computer is if you go on control panel 
just wait for this to load up, and go on to Classic View, and then go on to, uh, if I can find it, if you then go on to Personalization, so it's there, Oops, sorry I haven't clicked on it, <laughs> it will come up with Display Settings, right at the bottom there. You then need to make sure that um, you've then got multiple monitors um, selected there so that then it will then play on your computer and on your TV. Um, the other thing which you might want to check is also if you go back onto control panel and click on something that says Intel GM. A driver for mobile. Sorry, that's just my dog. Here we are. When you click on that, it will come up with this box. What you need to do is you need to make sure that the multiple display here comes up with um, up here. It says operating mode and you need to put it on clone displays. You then need to have two displays, so the primary display is the built-in display and the other one is the secondary display which says monitor. Then you need to have it in that order so the primary display is set as your computer and the secondary display is set as your TV. Once that is set you should be all okay um, and then I just keep, if you, hopefully you'll be able to read that um, I just keep the general settings just like that. I haven't touched any any of that, and then just press OK. Now, once you've got this all up and running, obviously you need to keep your computer on when you do this. You also need to make sure that your TV is off. Now, once you've got everything plugged in and ready to go, then you need to turn your computer. You then need to turn your um, TV on. So, hang on a minute. Just like what? Yeah. And then you need to go to the settings. Lovely. Um, yeah, they need to go to the HDMI port that you've put your HDMI cable into. In this case, HDMI 2, as I've got there. You will then have your computer screen come up, and you'll be able, you will then be able to show your friends anything and everything on your computer screen. I also recommend that this setup is useful if you want to watch a a video on iPlayer or on Sky Go if you have Sky. This comes in very handy as it means that you can then watch all, all the um, movies and things that are online on your TV screen without having to have a built-in without having to ha um, have a built-in um, internet um, router in your TV to then be able to connect to the internet and have that on buffering. Now, as long as you've got fairly good internet, there won't be any inter um, interruption at all, and um, it should run for um, as smoothly as it would on your t um, computer screen. It may be a little bit... Um, the quality may be slightly um, worse, but that's only because um, the VGA cable is... Uh, I think what is it? It, it? The VGA cable that you've put into the box is analog, and what's coming out the v uh, and what's coming out the box is digital, and that is the HDMI cable. Now, hopefully, that should be a good enough quality for you be able for you to be able to watch all the movies and everything that you've then got on your computer screen. Um, on the on your TV, um, the audio that has come from your computer will not um, work on your computer it is then only on your TV screen if you press play on your um, computer and watch a video no audio will come from your computer it will only come from the TV and from then on that's all guys hopefully that will come in handy for when you decide to um, buy a box or some cables or something to um, show a video or something or a movie on your computer but yeah that's all guys thanks for watching and i'll see you in another video